Hi guys, Blue Avenger. Right, welcome back. As you can see, there's another first look of another first day pouch. I've already shown you the Helicon Tech Micro first day pouch. Now, I'm going to show you the Helicon Tech first look of the Helicon Tech Pocket first day pouch. This has replaced this one. This here was my Dartmoor first day kit. <coughs> It's now going to be this one, and this is going to be my permanent first aid kit at the top of my rucksack. This will be, as everybody calls them, an IFAC. This is my individual first aid kit. I can truly admit to you guys, this is not finished. I've only just put the stuff, what was in here, into here. I don't know if I like what's in here. I don't know what other way I've done it yet. So, yeah. But I'm going to get some information quickly, and then I'll be back. You can see all my stuff here. <laughs> nope, that's that one, that one, that one, that one. Ah, here we go. The Pocket Med Insert. That's what it's called, guys. Um, as you can see, it is from Helicon Tech. Well, I, I like content fits in most cargo pockets, on trousers and jackets. Front panel is reflective with a cross pocket loops for basic medical supplies. Includes a small trauma shears, including small trauma shears. All right, we're now going to talk about the shear, um, shears. There they are, that's where it is. It goes in the back here. It's a little loop there. This camera's hard, by the way, guys. I know everybody likes it at the moment, but it's actually hard to use. Especially when it starts following my face and I'm trying to show things in it. There you go. There's that one there for you guys. See if it can lock back on me. And it's not. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Right, now it's locked back on me. Right. So yeah, there's that pouch, there's that shears pouch, which is right at the back here, and I do like it because it actually is attached. I now don't have to have my shears separately. As you can see, I've still got my vials. I don't really need to carry these in he on here, but I do want potassium and one's um, money. I do have, there's an ID slot right there, guys, to put your ID in if you needed to. And behind there's another little pocket. I've got nothing in that pocket at the moment. Open it up. It's like my quick deploy first aid kit. It's, it just pops open. First thing falls out is one another one of these is ready bandages. I do like to carry these. I do carry multiple of them. As I said, this has nothing to do with the first aid kit. This is just mainly to do with the pouch. As you can see, there it is. There's a large slot at the back. And then there's a medium slot. And then there's a smaller slot. On top, and there's yeah, sorry, there's a large slot back here, then there's a medium one here, and there's a smaller one here, and it's exactly the same on this side as well. And in the middle, there's two little loops. I do like it. Oh, yeah, and there's a little loop here to put a pen or a torch. I'm sticking a torch in there. I'm getting another torch. I'm going to be soon looking into getting another torch, so that will be going in there. And yeah, so yeah, I went through the contents quickly because at the end of the day, why not? That is my triangular bandage. I did vacuum seal it for a reason because it was too bulky. Same again, guys. I always carry multiple of these as well. That's a for a blanket and a frontal lens. I always carry multiple of them. I carry more frontal lenses and probably, or not frontal lenses, but more for a blanket than anything else lately. I don't know why, I just do. As I said, Federal Lens. This is not as norm a normal first aid kit most people think as well, guys. This is a lot more awkward to pack. 
So be so careful when you if you do if you're going to look into getting one. As I said, I've only had this today. I've not had it any longer. I've not had it less than I've had it a lot. I've had it less than twelve hours. So I'm not saying this is what my first aid kit's going to look like. This is just first looks of the pouch. I have one of these white lints. I do like to use them because they're reusable. And I have ten of these um, iodine swabs. I have one of those bandages, what most people use for spines. And on this side, I have 10 alcohol swabs. Some barn plasters. Yeah, you have me right. Barn plasters. I've not used these yet. I don't know what they're like. I don't know if I'm going to. Because I don't really buy myself that often. And I wish I was doing this outside, but I can't at the moment. I can't explain neither. Because I don't know. I ain't kidding, I'm just saying that way. I do have some of these strips. If anybody's got anything else you think I should add to this, or take, take away to add something else, please let me know as well, guys. I do have some plasters or band-aids, you guys in America and Canada cause them. And I do have some purification tablets. And that is hard to believe, that is it. In this small little pouch. But technically it's not actually that small really because there's the micro and there's the pocket a lot bigger they do have another one of these another, another first aid pouch I don't know if I need it. I don't know if I'm going to look into it. But because there's more time, it's a lot more money. Yeah, that one there, my friend sent me this one here. I bought myself. It was £16 on eBay. I will try to put a link in the description if they're still selling them. I do apologise if they're not. I will let you know. So, yeah. So, that's the new. That is the pocket. Sorry, guys, I'm not very good when it comes to remember things. The Pocket Med Insert. That's what I'm calling it. So, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And I do apologise if this video takes too long to go for. Bye-bye.